In the heaviest snowfall in 50 years, one of the world's largest cargo freighters is making a 90-minute pit stop on its way to South Carolina. Captain Grant Stevens is coming off duty after the eight-hour flight. I've been flying out of Alaska since 1978. It's different. He's used to Alaskan conditions, but today, even he is talking about the weather. Coming into Anchorage, sometimes it's interesting. Today, it's kind of white out here, but we got runway lights. They do a pretty good job of cleaning our runways. Worst case scenario is we're off to our alternate because we can't see the runway when we get here. The plane is scheduled to leave in 30 minutes. First, they have to refuel it with over 50,000 gallons of jet fuel. While they wait, this leg's new pilot, Brian Thibodeau, runs through his pre-flight checks, which include a visual inspection of the hull. During the uh, inspection, I'm looking for any uh, tires that might have been damaged, any damage into the leading edge of the aircraft. The biggest risk of a delay is if they need to de-ice the plane, a decision the pilot will make depending on the temperature, snow, and wind. Spraying the entire hull of one of the biggest cargo freighters in the world costs time and money, up to $10,000. De-icing is a very costly factor in turning an aircraft, and depending upon the conditions, time-wise, it can take as little as 15 minutes or as much as an hour and a half or even longer. But today's weather makes it a much easier call. It's been snowing pretty much nonstop since uh, the aircraft arrived. We got to get the wings and fuselage cleaned off. Snow and ice affects the aerodynamic performance. In other words, not the icing, the danger can be catastrophic. The aircraft could crash. The team must get the plane de-iced and back in the air as quickly as possible. To save time, they call out two trucks each carrying 2,000 gallons of de-icing fluid. One person drives the truck into position, while the operator uses a telescopic boom to spray the fluid up to 75 feet. It takes all 4,000 gallons of de-icing. Every second counts. They're on the clock. Scheduled departure is in three minutes and the de-icing fluid is only effective for around 15 before the cold temperatures make the aircraft unsafe to fly once again. If the conditions are not right, we may have to do the entire de-icing process again. That would cost the airline another $8,000.